What are your thoughts on Ozempic? Um, it's a prescription medication that is used to delay gastric emptying, which aids in weight loss and treatment of diabetes. Right. And what, how do you feel? Like, do I have emotions about Ozempic? Uh, what, I, what I'm, uh, that doctors, it seems to be, and maybe I know you're, you're in New York, but here in LA. No, in New York, it's a hot thing too. Oh, okay. So celebrities so, are rushing to get it. It's not only celebrities, but it's just well, people, people who are in front of a camera. Are the people that we hear about, yeah. but even I know people and people in, in your school and things like that, like other parents and things like that. My school. Oh, my kid's school? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's a, she was a teacher. <laughs> but but what I'm saying is uh, people I know that just want to lose five pounds, they're not on uh, television. They're not modeling, um, are jamming themselves with Ozempic. And... It, I know somebody who's not on TV that went to a doctor, a female, mm -hmm. went to their general practitioner mm -hmm. and said, uh, if you want some Ozempic, you know, I'll give you a little prescription. They, they didn't even, they, this was enough to uh, maybe make somebody start to uh, get an eating disorder because they weren't even asking for it. Yeah. So it's being offered. So my couple of questions about Ozempic is, are these companies offer? I find that the doctors are shelling it out. Are you get? Do you get a, a kickback? No, absolutely, absolutely not. So the sale, Illegal. pardon me, Illegal. Stark the, laws are already in effect to prevent that from happening. There's what? They're called Stark laws. Explain to me what that is. Um, it's basically a law that prevents doctors from profiting profiting off of the prescription of medications, owning a lab, and sending the patients only to this lab. Um, sending them only to a specific subspecialist that they get kickbacks from. There's rules in place against this. There is no benefit to a doctor prescribing anything. There is. Uh, it's secondary benefit from patients coming to see them and paying out-of-pocket costs to see them. And if they can create a business surrounding that and saying, oh, if you go see Dr. X, Dr. X will give you whatever you want. You'll pay whatever the fee Dr. X charges you. I saw a video that you made about the dangers of also really wealthy people in their mm -hmm. health care not being great because of this issue and going to concierge services and because they're able to um, do what you're saying and there's not as many regulations. Okay. Yeah, so if you look at it, our healthcare system is messed up on both ends. The bottom part of our socioeconomic ladder, people struggle to get access to care. They can't afford their medications. They can't see doctors because they don't have insurance. But then on the other end, they also get really bad health care because they think they can buy health. You cannot buy health. You cannot, with billions of dollars, say, I want to make sure I never die. I want to live forever. Hyper optimization does not exist in healthcare, no matter what medical doctor, social media influencer tells you. The enemy of good in healthcare is trying to be perfect because the body's job is to stay in balance and homeostasis. And the second you're going into hyper-optimization, that's an extreme, the body will have a pushback effect and you'll have side effects. Therefore, the body does not like hyper-optimization. Which uh, an example is like juicing, a juice cleanse or? Uh, or um, like what, when people say, oh, if you take TRT, you'll be faster, stronger, leaner, and everyone should be on TRT. Well, hold on a second. That's hyper-optimization. Yes, if you have low testosterone because of hypogonadism, which is how we uh, call it in medicine, then you should consider taking TRT. Hypogonads? Gonadism. Because, like gonads? Yeah, because the gonads produce <laughs> testosterone. So Where if you have your that gonads? Low, you're nuts. Where are you? <laughs> right? I'm putting it in layman's that terms for my yeah. daughter. It's hard to talk to your daughter about your nuts. Birds and bees. <laughs>